Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to the Mac Break Studio. My name is Mark Spencer. With me, of course, is Steve Martin. We need to come up with a new intro. I know, we do. It's, 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 I'm Mark, you're Steve, but um, it's everyone, all right. Everyone knows it. They do, but we've got some new viewers. Yeah, we're getting new viewers, yeah. absolutely. Um, and we've got some interesting things to talk about. Yes, and uh, we're getting a lot of requests to talk about sharing projects between editors. In Final Cut Pro 10. In Final Cut Pro 10. How can you, but you can't do that. Um, well, that's the meme. I looked up uh, yeah. meme meme on the uh, on Wikipedia. It's like it's an idea or concept that's transmitted from person to person throughout the culture. So that's the uh, the echo chamber of the internet. Correct. Right. You cannot share Final Cut Project files. But you're here to tell us that that's not the case. I'm here to tell you that's right. not the case. So, um, and you're going to show us how to share. Yeah, share. Okay. It's sharing is good. All right. We were all taught to share when we were kids, so we're going to share for this episode. Awesome. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, so first thing is. You'll notice up here in the event library, I have a event called the planet. It's got essentially six clips in it. Okay, just for the purposes of this demonstration, just keep it to six clips. Otherwise, we're going to do a lot of copying around. Okay. So what I want to do is, I want to have a version of this event on another drive. Let's say I want to take this with me on this travel drive, and edit on another Macintosh, and then okay. share the project from that travel drive back to the person working on this computer. So maybe you were working at home on a desktop computer and now you want to have it on a laptop on the road or, or give it to or somebody Or give it else. to somebody, right. And they want okay. to work on the project then send me the project file and then have it update on my system. Okay. Okay, that's what I essentially want to do. First thing is you're going to want to copy the project. So fastest way to do that is... Copy the event? Co excuse me, copy the event with okay. the media in it. In this uh -huh. case, I'm just going to drag it onto the drive. I get the little plus symbol, release my mouse. It's going to ask me if I want to copy it. Now you can leave the word copy. I typically will take that off. Mm -hmm. Click OK. And now what's happening is it's making a, essentially a duplicate event with that media okay. on a different drive. And it's fine to have the exact same name and everything. It's fine. Now okay. here's the key. What's very important is that you don't do this in the Finder. In other words, you don't f drag it from one event library into another in the Finder because when because the IDs will be the same and you get an ID conflict when next time you launch Final Cut Pro 10. So when you're making the copy operation within Final Cut Pro 10, it's assigning it a different ID Correct. number. Correct, a different okay, ID so number. That's super critical. It's super critical. Okay. Okay. You've got to do it within Final Cut Pro. Right. So the bottom line is it's now copying. I have essentially two events with the exact same media in them. And the same smart collections or keyword collections or favorites or anything, right? It's all, all there. That, all that metadata is there. All that metadata is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to create a project. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and select my travel. This is the drive I want to create the project on. Click. Okay. Let's just call this a Steve Edit. Okay, just keep it simple. Notice it's associating it with that event and that drive. I'm going to click OK. Is there is there a way to tell where it says the planet here, that, that which drive that 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 event it doesn't tell you, but it, the assumption is it's going to use the same the event selected, right? that it's exactly selected. Okay. okay. So in this case, Steve edit, click OK. And I'm going to just do just a quick edit here. I'm going to skim. I'm going to say I'm marking in, marking out, and press E, pin that. Just This is what I love about Final Cut is how you can just skim in, out, E, and then let's do one more, uh, skim, in, out, E. So I've got a three clip little thing that I just kind of made very, 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 very quickly. Okay. Okay. So, um, by the way, let me go ahead and turn on the thumbnails so that we can actually see that uh, there's actually Some video. So, yeah, I, I had it worked on audio last time. Okay. So, I have these three clips. There's my edit. I have a, a simple three clip edit in yep. my project. Now, what I want to do is I want to share this project with another editor. So they can take it to the next step. Like, yeah. you, you, like you did the rough in. Exactly. Right? And now you want somebody to really massage it. and. Okay, yeah. So what okay. I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to deliberately quit out of Final Cut Pro. Okay? And you just gonna, kind of have to follow me on this thing. You know, there's my uh, base camp. There we go. So I'm going to, the, going to where I copy. There's my Final Cut. If I go to my events, notice this is if I command click, you'll see that I'm on my travel right, drive. Travel drive. Okay. And then there's that event library that I copied, which I said not to do in the Finder, yes. that's a result of the files being moved from within Final from Cut Pro, Pro or copied within Final Cut Pro, yep. okay? And then there's my project, okay? There's my, well, actually, let me go ahead and delete that. It shouldn't be there. But there's my, there's the project I created. There's yep. the project file. There's any render files. Now, it's a really important thing is if you do your edit and you are rendering a bunch of material, you should probably purge your render files before you email 
the project to somebody. Because the render files are stored with the project. You and could, it could be a it could be a big it could be big. a lot of media. Exactly. Right? And uh, you can do that um, in the file menu in Final Cut Pro. But it's real important that you do that. Now, what's also important is when you want to send the project for this time, you want to set the main folder. You want to actually zip up the whole thing, the whole everything folder. that's in here. So what I'm going to do is control click on this. I'm going to say, where is it? Compress. Okay. okay. And that there's my Steve edit, right? And even if you don't have any render files, it's a good idea to do it at this level rather than this just the FCP project. Right. right. When you initially want to share, you want to bundle up the entire folder name, right. everything in it, because that's yeah. what Final Cut Pro is going to look for. Right. Right. So what I'm going to do is here's my Final Cut projects on my actual boot drive. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this Steve edit. I'm just going to move it actually here. I should have, um, go ahead and delete. Did this earlier. I'm going to just go ahead and grab this, move it into here. And I'm going to just double click it. I'm, let's just say I sent this to you. I put, posted okay. it on, a, on some sort of a, a sharing site. Right, or I downloaded it. Downloaded I it. What not? Dropbox or whatever. It's all okay. zipped up. Just double click, and there it is. There's the render files and the project that matches the one that's on the travel okay. drive. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is launch Final Cut Pro. Now, what we should see is we should see the project identical on both the travel drive and the boot drive. And will the one on the travel drive where we've moved it now, will it automatically know to reference the, the, the right event? It should. See, here you, here you see travel drive. Yep. Steve edit. And there's the your exact, edit with your three clips. There's the edit with three. See. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Let's say I make a change to the edit. Okay. Okay, because presumably. That's the whole idea. The right? whole idea. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make a change to this edit. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to deliberately take this clip, this hammerhead. Move it over here. Okay. And just for giggles, let's go ahead and throw a age paper filter or effect on that. Okay. So we can see I've definitely made some changes yes. to that edit. Okay. Yes. So I go back out here, and you can see both a project side by side. One of them has a filter and a the different, different clip order. Different clipped order. Uh -huh. Now, what I'm going to do? Quit Final Cut. Okay. And remember, we're we're working on off the, the travel, travel drive, drive now. Right. Okay. So. Here we are in the travel drive. I go to, where do I am? I'm on the travel drive. Make sure I'm on the travel drive. Yep, I am. So I go into- command clicking up there, yeah, is, by the way. There it is. Okay, now, I'm, there's a Steve edit. Yep. Remember, this is the database. Everything that I change, when I change the clip stored order right and added there. a filter, it's stored in that yep. database. So really, all I have to do is send that file now. Oh, so now that you've sent it once and both locations have the overall folder, now you could just pack, pass back and forth that single file. That's correct. Ah, cool. Yeah, you, so you can just pass it. Yeah. Once you both have the same event media set up and you've got the basic folder structures, you just you can just pass back, back that one forth. project. Yeah. Now. Yep. Cool. Fact, now watch this. Let's okay. do it. Uh, pr let's pretend I emailed this to somebody or yeah. you. I'm just going to just drag it right into here, okay. which is my boot drive edit. It's going to ask me to replace it, and of course I'm going to choose replace. Right. Okay. Okay. I've just replaced it. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to Final Cut. What would we expect to see when we launch Final Cut? It would, should be the the new one. We should, should see. That edit with the filter, with the reverse, right. with the um, you know rearranged clip order. Look, there it is. And then they exactly match. They they, exactly they match, match perfectly. Now, if you did if you did wanted to share, but you still wanted to have the the old version also, you would make a copy of it before you did that. Before you did that, that's okay. right. You would just duplicate this and rename it. Right. If you else didn't, if you, you did wanted it. to have another version of this, you can okay. you can control click and you could then duplicate that project and then give it a different name. Okay. You know, so like original or a, yeah. so you wouldn't get overwritten exactly. And that would put that project in a whole separate folder. Uh, that would right. create a yes, a whole separate okay. folder exactly. Got it. Got but it. there you have it. I mean, you could share a project That's file. Very and it works, easy. It works great. So that seemed to be the key. The really big tips that, that I heard was making the copy of the event media within Final Cut Pro. That's 10. the key is and, making that copy in Final Cut and, and not then the first time sending the whole zipping up the whole uh, Final Cut project folder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It works, wow. gr works, works fantastic. Excellent, so, Steve. So there you have it. Uh, myth busted. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And of course, mm -hmm. if people want to learn more about Final Cut Pro 10 or Motion 5 or Compressor or DaVinci Resolve or what else we got going on? Smoke. smoke. Smoke's coming. Yeah. Um, smoke anyway, in. any any of this kind of uh, post-production training at? RippleTraining.com. RippleTraining.com. Great. Thank you, Steve. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.